What's up, y'all? So today is get a new truck day. I was supposed to have gotten here. I was supposed to got here yesterday. Got here today because I had some load cancellations and stuff. But y'all, yeah, the biggest was not was not making me upset. Not that I'm upset. I'm not really upset. I guess not even impatient. But there's just so many pa there's just so much patience you can have. Like it is 121 and I got here at eight o'clock. What's going on? I gotta move all this stuff into the new truck. So let me tell y'all though. We getting us a brand new truck. 2024 Freightliner. I seen it for a quick second and then they took it back into the shop. I don't know what they're doing. Let's talk. I've been three months solo, but I got my CDL back in July. So I've been driving since, technically I've been driving training since June, but solo I've been, this month makes three months. And by solo, I mean in my own truck, no trainer, doing loads and things on my own. So it's pretty dope. I think I have about 17, 18,000 miles I've driven since I've started driving. And those are 18,000 safe miles, which is a blessing. I thank God. It's not easy, but we making it happen. So here's my experience from being a CDL class A 18 wheeler truck driver. I just want to share how my experience has gone. Let's talk about it. Okay, now Jax wants to say, hey. Jax, it's just a train. It's a train. It's a train. chill out i'm recording okay so let's talk about it man um where do i stand so let's talk about otr versus regional you guys know i am a regional driver and uh, i'm semi doing a otr type of situation because this Wednesday, this thursday is thanksgiving and I didn't know how holidays work in trucking. So I asked and they told me, they said, well, wherever you at, you would just be there until the holiday is over. And I said, no, no, I don't want to do that. I want to go home. Not that I got plans. Me and my family don't have plans. I'm not, nobody's really even cooking, but I don't want to be in some truck stop while the holiday is going on. I'm gonna do better for Christmas. I know y'all probably saying, dang, like I'm gonna do better for Christmas because I already be at home. So I may, cook and do things at my house but what i'm saying is i didn't want to be out so we came up with this we we came up with being out 11 days to be off three so i'm going to be off i'm going home wednesday so i have thursday friday saturday off and i'm going to pop out back monday and i'll be back on my regional side so i've literally been home since last monday today is monday by the way last monday I, I i came out and so wednesday be the 11th day and i'll go home so let's talk about otr i'm not built for it i'm not and y'all probably saying that ain't nothing like you need to be out 30 days or something i don't need to be out 30 days to know that i don't like it and even in training i did more days i did like 22 21 21 22 something like that now see for me i like trucking i do but me as a person, I'm very complex and I do a lot of other things besides drive a truck. There are some times when I want to get out of the truck to go do something else. And being home on the weekend gives me, gives me the space and time to do that. These 11 days, it wasn't hard because it goes fast out here. Like, when I'm out during the week, it's so easy to get to Wednesday and Thursday and it's almost time to go back home. 
Shout out to the OTR drivers that be out for a month, 60 days, 90 days. I get it, but I'm not built for it. There are some times I wanna go travel. I wanna go do a road trip, not drive this. Uh, go get on the plane, go somewhere. And me being able to do that on the weekend, like I can get home on a Friday if I got to, fly out, do all that. I got that flexibility, so I like that. So OTR is not for me probably would never be for me i only picked it up just so i can make this holiday happen and maybe there will be times that i do stuff like that but i will never just strictly be otr won't happen i even thought about like sell the house and just stay on the truck nah i'm not built for that after having to take showers at truck stops all the time like i want to get in my own bed at home that's stationary not that can move up and do all of that <laughs> So I'm just not built for it, and I get it. Even more down the line, I might turn into a day driver. I might get rid of the sleeper. Nah, I ain't getting rid of the sleeper. Most definitely not, they put me in a brand new truck. But I don't know, like it's, it's kinda, for me, I say it's a little overrated to be out on the road, cause you really don't have to, unless you really want to. And the thing about traveling, like, you know, people say, oh, you get to travel and see the world. You really don't. Because if you are an OTR driver, your main goal is to make money. But second of all, when you're out on the road making money, you're out delivering loads, picking up stuff. You don't have a lot of hold down time. You really don't. I don't have a lot of hold down time to go see downtown of a city that I'm in. Like I was in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, and I didn't have time to go, I'm gonna go downtown. Not only that, if I'm on the road just trying to make money, I don't need to be spending money. So I don't know, it might work for different people. And it probably is different for owner operators who have their own trucks. Cause you can kind of just be like, no, I ain't taking no loads, I'm good. But I'm a company driver. So it's different for me. Like when people like, I have not been like, before this, I was, I, I like to say I'm well-traveled. Like I've been to over half of the states in the United States. So just driving to a state is not good enough for me. I want to be able to experience it, spend a night there, get a hotel, see what the city offers, taste the food, doing that kind of stuff. And you really don't get to do that while you're driving on the road. Because when I drop this load off, I need to be going somewhere else and I'm in and out. Yeah, so that's just kind of how that goes. Uh, what's another thing? Another thing I like to talk about is being able to be disciplined. It requires a lot of discipline because you have to be able to keep going. And every day, every day is not gonna be the same. Every day is not gonna be perfect. You are going to have days where you plan to be somewhere and you don't make it. And it's not because of you. And maybe it's because of you, but like in my, in my uh, experience, it hasn't been me. It's mainly sometimes just the load being canceled or the load is not ready and showing up early don't even get it i remember i showed up early last week to a low and they said the machine was down and they ain't gonna be ready for t till tomorrow and that was at 12 o'clock i got there an hour early and they said we don't know when it's gonna be ready so that low got canceled off me so i had drove like 200 some miles to get there for nothing and so i got paid for driving it but at the end of the day i wanted to experience and take that load to where it was going so you have to be able to like adjust mentally because there are sometimes you're like you know, you know sometimes your feelings get hurt you'll be like dang i wanted to do this and blah 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 but it is a fast moving industry um you will develop i guess you could say tough skin but it's not tough skin as in like you can't be yourself or you can't let people see you break or whatever no it's, it's not like that but you do have to have discipline to be able to say all right cool i'm moving with the punches and i'm gonna keep going um overall let's talk about driving 
I really like driving this thing, y'all. I really do. From the first moment I drove and training to now, I really do. That that's what keeps me going because it's the biggest one of the biggest things on the road. And I like it. Overall, I really like this job when it comes to what I have to do. There are a lot of things you have to do and remember, but then there aren't a lot of things. Like I'm not I don't feel like I'm micromanaged. I don't feel like someone's looking over my shoulder. Just do your job. Like if there are some days I don't even talk to my dispatch or talk to my fleet managers because if I'm given the tools and the information I need to do my job, then I really don't need to call in or anything. I've never had to call them about driving. Have only had to call them about load information. Maybe I don't have the right number or anything like that. And I am grateful at how much experience I am getting on the road because I'm getting like last week I drove in West Virginia for the first time in a semi. I already knew what to expect because I've driven the way in a car, but driving it in a semi, man, it's a different experience. It can be tedious, it's tiring. You should jake brake going up, not going up, but going down, you do. And it's just a lot, a lot of things. You gotta be cautious in mountains. It, it, it is what it is. But I'm glad I got the learning experience of how to drive in that condition. I've driven in snow one day. It's already snowed here. So overall, in my experience of being on solo three months, it's been a good it's been a good experience and overall i've been in this whole uh array of being a trucker next month i believe in the next month would be six months time goes really fast really fast i guess when you're having fun but uh yeah i just wanted to give y'all a quick update of how it's been going and how i feel about it I got off the phone with my dad and that's why I kind of wanted to do this video because he was like, you still like it? And I honestly still do. I still do. Uh, there are days that are better than other days, but that's in every, that's in every industry. You're going to have good days, bad days, and some days be perfect. Some stuff just happen and you have a smooth selling day. But I'm not going to make this video that long. I just wanted to talk about my update and to give you a overview of how the three months has been me as a trucker. Not only that, uh, even being a company driver with rail, how it's been, overall, I have to say, they've given me everything I need. Um, I, I've talked about pay in my different video, so you can go watch that, but they are working on it. They're doing something about it so far like they 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 care i'm seeing how they care about their drivers especially if you talk to them and that's another thing i was telling my dad i was like you got people who complain like i was talk, telling my dad out some people will complain like i'm talking to you but would never tell the people who needs to hear it and by you complaining to the wrong person that doesn't do anything now I can see if you done told these people, hey, this is going on, blah, blah, blah. You'll be like, okay, and they not doing nothing about it, and that's a different story. But I've been vocal, and they're doing something about it. So I got to give them props on that. They're showing they care. They're showing, hey, we got you. We're going to see what, can, what we can do. So that's what I like about it. And remember this, too, in trucking. I heard a lot of YouTubers say it but your experience is your experience and it's what you make it and it's what you take out of it. At this point, like I really want to get my experience up of being a driver, being a CDL holder. That, that's probably the ultimate goal that I'm pulling away from all of this. Uh, Cause I do have some other plans. I have some other things in the future what I want to tap into. Um, but that's it. I just wanted to shed light on that. I probably will do a tour of the new truck just to let y'all see what I'm getting into. Um, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. One of my goals were, one of my goals on my YouTube channel was to 
get these views, get these subscriber count up to 2000 before the end of 2023. Be sure to help me do that. Send this to your friends, send this to your, 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 your friends, your cousins, sisters, brothers, dogs, cats, the ants, you know, if they got it, if the ants got a YouTube channel, you can let them subscribe too. just plan. All right, y'all be blessed. Talk with you soon.